Hugo Vickers detailed how Her Majesty will be delighted to visit her horses, stabled on the estate away from her home in Windsor. He told the Times, she will have a nice time there, because she can go and see the stud. He added, she will be very happy. The Queen, a longtime horse lover, was instructed at the end of October to stop riding for at least six months, according to the Mirror. However, Royal sources insist Her Majesty, 95, is determined to be back in the saddle as soon as she is able. A Balmoral source told The Sun, she was in quite a bit of discomfort. She adores riding and it has been part of her ritual for most of her life. She has been extremely disappointed not to go riding since the beginning of September. It was announced on Saturday that the Queen's horse, King's Lynn, won the listed Wentworth Stakes at Doncaster. Born and bred by the Queen, the four-year-old horse has brought Her Majesty £24,385 in prize money. Her Majesty, 95, accepted medical advice to rest, rather than travel to the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow as planned. Sources say she flew to the estate in East Anglia by helicopter, and will continue to rest at Sandringham, in accordance with doctor's orders. The Queen has maintained a dizzyingly busy itinerary of royal engagements, particularly since she returned from her annual summer break at Balmoral. In October, at least 16 royal engagements were penned into her official diary, including hosting a global investment summit at Windsor Castle. This was the first time that Her Majesty had used a walking stick for comfort, and prompted fears about the monarch's health. Adapting her hectic schedule to medical advice, which the Queen, reluctantly, accepted, according to Buckingham Palace, a number of adaptations have been introduced to her calendar of royal engagements. Her Majesty still managed to be visible to the public despite her doctor's orders to prioritise rest, taking to virtual platforms to speak with diplomats, guests and audiences across the world.